Alright guys, so this is my newest build to my loadout collection and this thing is absolutely beast. I'm doing anywhere from 100 to 260k crits. I, I think I saw 270 at uh, one point and uh, believe it or not this is 1.8 million armor. So we're going to break down the build video for you. I'm going to show some solo clips and then we're going to do a little bit of duo clips and then full team clips. So this build is good, solo, in the team, two man, four man, whatever the case may be, this build is amazing, and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm running. So stay tuned, uh, smash that like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys at the build video. Enjoy. Perfect just saved me right there. Perfect just saved me right there. Perfect just jumped me. I got saved by that little bit of blue, yeah. Got him, got him, got two new two more. <laughs>
strike. Oh, the chemistry is real. Stone Age. One hundred Age. Swap, swap, swap. <laughs> oh my god, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Fire! Dirty, bro. happened rank seven
Yo, yo, what's going on, clever fans? It's your man, Clever Thumbs, and today I'm bringing you a brand new build to your loadout. This is actually the Hunter Killer Bullfighter build. I know it sounds crazy, it's actually the perfect meta. I'm explaining to you why this build is better than before and the others. But before we do, definitely smash that like button, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. That way you guys are aware of when my content releases and when I do my live streams because that's pretty much when it gets extremely lit, testing out and being in the dark zone. Nothing but PvP, but let's get right into it. So, for the build video, we are rocking, as you guys can see, two-piece golem, one-piece bellstone, one walker, which is probably going, why aren't you walking so a lot? I'm going to tell you exactly why. Um... Contractors, best in slot, Fox's Prayer, best in slot. Let's get right into it. So, for the specializations, I highly recommend you use Firewall. And now, this is actually uh, the perfect meta build right here. I'm going to tell you exactly why. So, Firewall is going to give you that amplified damage on your shield. Right there, it says damage bonus per enemy 12% for each enemy standing in front of you. Uh, the more the enemies, the more the damage bonus. And that's amplified. So, keep that in mind. Also, you're going to get a nice med kit, and you're also going to get Firewall Tactical Link, uh, which comes in the uh, specialization, and it reads that uh, allies deal 10% more damage to enemies within 10 meters of you. So any enemies that are close to you, which you're going to be really close to these enemies, and as long as teammates are shooting at them and they're within 10 meters, you're, they're going to get 10% additional weapon damage. So breaking that down let's set that to the side that's firewall you're gonna want the firewall uh, lady death if you guys aren't familiar with lady death lady death is the best SMG build in the uh, sorry not build best SMG in the whole entire game um, the reason for that is you get amplified damage I know it says 75 but it's actually 60 if I'm not mistaken 60% amplified damage in PvP I don't think it tells you PvP stats oh yeah it does right there 60% amplified damage and you also get that 20% movement speed the secondary gun you guys can use whatever you want I chose to go with the vector and sadist uh, this is the vector SBR 45 ACP not the best rolls but sadist is actually multiplicative damage as well so you're getting that 20% if you decide to use the bleed hive as you guys can see in the video I was using a number of skills I was using pulse decoy bleed hive I was using everything um, I was just go ahead and testing the build out thoroughly that way you guys do get the best content So moving on to the first piece of the build which is actually the bellstone armory and you guys are going This is just a typical build 1% armor regen uh, 170k max core attribute armor 5.5 critical hit chance and 11.9 critical hit damage 11.8 critical hit damage mod so that's where we're going to start the build off moving on to the second piece of the build this is actually what makes it so great the hunter killer if you guys aren't familiar with what the hell the hunter killer is it's actually perfect intimidate that is right i'm on pvp stats perfect intimidate while you have bonus armor amplifies total weapon damage by 40 percent to enemies within 10 meters so that's an extra five percent amplified damage you guys are going hey, that ain't nothing 5% amplified damage is actually a big deal. Any amount of amplified damage is a big deal. Now the reason why this is better because the normal has 35%, this one has 40. If you guys don't know how to get this, it's actually super simple. You just let uh, you just help somebody with the new character level 40 and they will um, if they have their all their hunters are unlocked, then they can uh, open the box again when they make a new character level 40 and Grinzerker actually dropped this for me I'm gonna drop a clip and I'll show you guys how that was manageable but pretty much I'm gonna do this until I get my god roll piece I might make a second video trying to help people out on how to get this but moving on to the third piece um, if you guys don't aren't familiar with the golem which you should be 10% status effects and two two pieces that 1% armor regen so I was like, if I'm going to rock Perfect Intimidate, I might as well rock this two-piece. So the two-piece is right here, 170k armor, 12% critical hit damage. You guys can go critical hit chance here if you want. I'm comfortable with where I'm at. I have max armor regen to help out my build because I really do have 2% armor regen. Moving on to the uh, knee pads, which is actually Fox's Prayers. Um, I got armor on these bad boys finally. It took me like over half a year to get something like this. Um, I always had all red 
Fox's prayers. I finally got the blue one, so now I can play with this a little bit and uh, max out the uh, the critical hit damage, optimizing it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Get the max crit damage going onto the contractor's gloves, which is the uh, best in slot right here. Um, you're actually getting 170k armor if you maxed out 8% damage to armor and then I only have 10.7 critical hit damage which I could get more if I optimize it um, but that's that'll that'll be there soon now moving on to the final piece of the build which is actually the matador the matador which is the bullfighter is what it translates to so uh, it says right here Walker and Harris gives you 5% weapon damage probably going why don't you use Sokolov well I'll tell you exactly why I don't use Sokolov because I'm only giving up 5% weapon damage right 5% weapon damage to get an additional 6% because the regular adrenaline rush is only 10% bonus armor uh, 3 stacks which is 30% but if you guys rock perfect adrenaline rush in PvP it's actually 12% bonus armor and that's 3 stacks so that's you know 12 times 3 is 36 um, that's pretty much you're gonna have that extra 6% bonus armor of 1.8 million armor it's actually a huge deal uh, it doesn't seem like it but the reason why I didn't go Sokolov is because I have the perfect intimidate I'm, I'm actually getting 5% uh, more amplified damage which is way better than the 5% uh, damage that I'm missing from Sokolov so it kind of balances out as you can see I kind of like reverted the damage back into the perfect intimidate that's why I chose to go with this you guys can use Sokolov with the adrenaline rush that's totally up to you um, but I feel like I need every ounce of uh, bonus armor that I can that way I can proc my perfect intimidate if you guys do see in the video there's moments where the perfect adrenaline rush saved me and the regular adrenaline rush would have probably got me killed that extra six percent did save my life um, but that's pretty much the build right there let me just show you real quick um, some uh, the rest of the skills and the stats and then I'm going to show you the variations that I got for here so striker shield you already know what time it is everybody's rocking it why wouldn't you if you don't have one it's pretty much saying hey shoot me in the face unless you got an AR build and you're sitting way in the back if you're gonna be in close quarters I highly recommend the shield sounds cheesy I know you can't really uh, help the game out any better by uh, just exposing yourself without a shield so all it is all a shield is is a time to kill waste uh, reducer that's all it is it just reduces the time to kill as soon as both shields go down it's back to the same uh, situation but that's just my opinion on this shield I'm gonna continue to use it and abuse it I really don't give a damn that's just me though if you guys don't want to rock the shield that's fine you're not gonna get the amplified damage though but I recommend it highly highly recommend it moving on to the second piece uh, holographic distraction this decoy will save your entire life people won't know how much armor you have people won't know that you're regening people won't know if you have adrenaline rush or intimidate so this is actually going to help you out a lot. You guys can rock a scanner pulse. You guys can rock a hive. Whatever the case may be. Um, I just recommend the decoy. If you guys want to rock something else, that's totally up to you. Let's break down some stats for you right here. I'm at 1.8. Um, to be honest, I recommend um, for you guys. I really recommend you guys to rock... 1.7 that way you get the extra 15% weapon damage and it's not gonna hurt your build at all but I'm gonna show you this this is how I recommend it 1.7 um, got my lady death up to 66 instead of 60 so I'm getting extra almost or it is 6k extra weapon damage and that's gonna translate a lot into amplified and uh, my crits as well so going on to the stats for the stats I'm comfortable with my 44% critical hit chance. I could, uh, I do need critical hit chance on my chest piece, which will put me at what 50. I'll be good at 50. Um, if I'm, if I don't like it right now, I could take off my armor region for my holster and put that extra 6% critical hit chance, and I'll lose some armor region, about 5k. But it's the trade-offs that you uh, get to decide yourself. 
So 44% critical hit chance with 153 critical hit damage. That's what I'm sitting at. I got some headshot damage a little bit in the build on the backpack if I'm not mistaken. So I'm almost at 80% headshot damage. I got 14% damage to armor which is crucial. And then of course my armor region is sitting at 38,000 which is not too bad at all. 38,000 is actually decent. Um, it's not extremely strong, but this is where it gets tricky. So I was thinking, um, since I have perfect intimidate and I'm getting 5% wet more uh, amplified damage, I figured this is 8% damage to targets out of cover, right? So technically, I can put my Emperor's Guard, which is right over here, put my Emperor's Guard. And I'm going to go a little bit tankier. And the reason I did that is because I'm getting 5% more amplified damage. Technically, I'm only losing on 3%. Technically, I'm only losing on 3%. Because 8% damage targets out of cover. Um, and then I get that 5% amplified damage. So there's only 3% dam uh, amplified damage that's just uh, not being used. It's not that it's not being used that I'm missing out on, I should say. So, I figured it'd be okay to rock this like this, and it was doing great. It was performing amazing. You guys can go back to the contractors, whatever you want. Put a red back on. It's up to you. But I'm going to show you the 1.8 in the armor region that I have on this build. This is what I was using. Use this with the decoy. It's going to help you amazingly. So, same stats, 44 crit chance, 153 crit damage. Moving on to the armor region, bam, 60,000 armor region. That is insane. Um, this is what I like to run with when I'm in a team, because I know I'm going to be able to survive more. Or when I'm solo, I use, I like to rock that too. If you want to put a red on here, um, you can. I'm going to show you what the red looks like. And with one red, you're still sitting at 54,000 armor region. So it's almost like you don't even need the six blues. You can almost get away with the um the five blues and one red so it's whatever you guys want experimented a lot uh i've been holding on to this build for like a week now um supposed to drop this build video a couple days ago but i wanted to thoroughly test it out and you guys have seen on the streams that this is performing amazingly so definitely stay tuned this is your man clever thumbs and i will see you guys on the next one thank you guys so much for everything all the support the love the hate the likes the dislikes i like it all man keep bringing that energy this way and uh we're gonna keep on doing what we do best so this is your man clever thumbs i'm signing out peace